very similar. What, what we've done is rather than 3.5, I put 4 million in this time. Uh, I have not yet laid out the rules for what the match would be from the local school districts. I would fully expect, and I'm going to ask the legislature to ask local school districts to find a match for that money uh, to put directly into salary enhancement. What, we, what we're looking for is a way to, to, uh, to enhance our policy and allow school districts latitude in terms of how they would like to do it. What I, what I will not allow to have happen is to have them reduce salary policy or not put in normal increases in salary policy and for all practical purposes backfill what they would otherwise put into salary policy. So I would expect that it would be an enhancement for salary policy. It, last year it ran in opposition because uh, some of the education groups who were representing the different special interests here in Peer for Education saw this as a deterioration, perhaps, of local control. I don't intend this to be a deterioration. What I want is participation at the local level. Uh, but to find a way to incent that the dollars coming from the state, some of them, go directly back to classroom teachers. And uh, in the past, I don't think that that's necessarily happened, in part because we have a huge number of people out there looking for teaching jobs. Uh, and so the individuals making those management decisions at the local level uh, have not been in a position to where they've had the increased salary policy for teachers. And they're doing what conservative South Dakotans do, and that is they're spending taxpayer dollars, in their opinion, very wisely by only paying what they have to pay. So. Now I think there's an interest there in trying to find a way to enhance our policy, but at the same time, we want those teachers to participate in efforts uh, to work towards goals of enhancing education in those areas that, that they can make a difference in. So team building, uh, coordinating efforts, whether it be math or science or uh, you know, in an elementary setting, what they want to do in terms of reading scores, uh, that type of activity. But I simply want the rules laid out on a school-by-school -school basis so that they have a chance to participate in, uh, in actually seeing the outcomes improve for those, for those students. And in doing so, uh, uh, have the state provide some incentives for them to do that. This is not, and I do not want it to be a competitive issue, one teacher pitted against another. I, I'm not interested in that. What I'm interested in is providing team-building opportunities at the local level. Do it also. Is this true to say you went around the backfill? But I would think you also don't want it to just take the amount of spread and put it across every teacher. No, I, I don't want that. I, I want to see them put together. I, I want to see them put together opportunities for teachers to be actively involved in trying new things for enhancement of education. You know, the whole goal of a school and in the institution system is to provide and education for young people. And when we provide dollars back, we don't send it back directly in the form of voucher to moms and dads and their kids. We send it back in the form of monthly checks to school districts based on the number of kids they've got in there. Also, whether they're in a sparse district or in a small district, you know, there, there are some modifications on it. What I'm suggesting in this case is, is let's provide some additional incentive money uh, and bring the teachers actively into looking at ways in which they can help us improve educational outcomes for young people, and not to where it's threatening for them, but where they get a chance to experiment a little bit and to find ways that they think they could put in perhaps new programs or perhaps new, new uh, 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 ways in which they could make a difference for young people. That's the return to the taxpayer and to the moms and dads that are out there uh, for this incentive. And at the same time, it's one way to go directly and to try to get some of the dollars that we're sending back to local units of government to go to salary policy as opposed to going into cash reserves. It was the problem, it wasn't last year, did you say three and a half to something like one and a half? Right. How, can you clarify for me how you decide what, what that match? I, I put this in because between now and the time that we have the state of the state. Um, I'd really like to have some input from legislators in terms of what they think would work. We'll try to work with uh, 
uh, some of our advisors and people on the Board of Education and so forth about what they think might work. And I'm really open to what the match should be and where the match sources should come from. Uh, and then, but my, my goal is, is to try to bring teachers into the mix. You know, one of the, one of the uh, discussions that I did have, uh, I spoke to about 400 teachers in October here in Pierre. And I did an open Q&A. And one of the questions they had was, is, you know, what are you going to do? You know, what are your plans for next time around for the salary enhancement? And I shared with them my frustration that, as in this case, uh, last year I tried to put three and a half million dollars into a plan that would have gone back in. My only guideline was is it had to be something that would enhance salary policy, and it couldn't just be across the board. It had to be planned in which it could be school by school, but every school district could come in and offer their own alternative uh, on how they would do it, and the locals would match about a million and a half dollars to about three and a half million of ours for a total of five million. And I said I couldn't get anybody from the different associations representing education interests to step forward on it. I said, where were you? Why didn't you, why, why didn't you step forward? What, where, was, where was education when we tried to do this? And it was kind of dead silence in the room. And they came back and said, well, why didn't you communicate it to us by email? <laughs> I thought I never thought about that, thinking to go directly to classroom teachers. Maybe this year we'll try something like that. But I, I think this year we'll have a little bit more support maybe from the grassroots level, from the teachers themselves about trying to get the money in. Instead, we put $6 million into a per student allocation. And my question to them was, how many of you got salary policy improvement because we put $54 million uh, back into your, back into the school districts? How many of you got any of that? And none of them seemed to think that they got any of it. Would this be just up to school districts to decide whether to apply for this? That's what I thought. Uh, but once again, I'm, I'm open to how we do it. But what I'm really looking for is a chance to look at a pilot project in which we begin a salary enhancement plan. And if I earmark $4 million and set aside for salary enhancement, is there a way to do that? And, and to really literally get some feedback. I'm, I'm not stuck on a particular way to, to, to put it in, except that I want to see goals or objectives being met where teachers are actively involved in finding or working on solutions for enhancement of education for young people. I think that's something that, that the taxpayers should be able to be to, to be assured of. This is, this is money that we're putting in in, in an opportunity to, to do two things. Number one, enhance salary policy for teachers. And number two, uh, to show improvements in, in, uh, in educational attainment by young people, which is what everybody wants. I mean, the teachers out there want to see that happen as well. So let's work together on a project and at the same time enhance salary policy. But I'm, I'm very open as to the structure and uh, at the rules and so forth. I, I'm, I'm trying to make it easy to work on it to show that it can work as opposed to, to making it difficult. Governor, tell us what's going to be coming.